What is going on everyone? It is Abdul here and today I'm back with yet another part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3. And in this part we're starting with Double Header, which is our third and final medieval level. And I'm sorry Crash, I interrupted you when you're playing with your fucking yo-yo, even though that yo is interested in this game first. Well, you've crashed a few parties before, but I never expected crashed. to make it ha, this far. Ha, 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 ha. You don't turn back. Wait. A thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe. Wait a minute. You crashed a few parties before. Skylanders? When I was introducing Crash with the fucking trailer, a new hero is crashing the party. Did fucking Crash 3 see into the fucking future? No, I I'm actually thinking. Did they actually think the future with this game crashed a few parties before so this game comes after Skylanders and that was a really good spin to that TNT's and the crates even though there was life there but did fucking did this game actually come after Skylanders I don't know I must be tripping yeah, I'm, I may be tripping. But what if that could be true? What if that could be actually true? This game saw into the future. New hero is crashing the party. Okay, no. no. My British accent is not good enough. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Everything about these wizards is that in the NTC version they just simply die in one hit, but in the PAL version they die in two hits. I don't know why. First hit is that you just remove their fucking clothes and they just remain in their underwear. Yeah, I don't know why they bothered changing that. In the PAL version there's also a few more enemies. In the, one of the tiger levels. And oh my god, I nearly did a miscalculating jump. And no worries there, I did that intentionally with the TNT. Because at least we have the super body slam. And just like that, you can actually go slightly higher than your average double jump. Like double jump, spin, and body slam. Oh. I fucking body slam near a fucking pit. Okay. Okay, and just like that, we got every single box. You can't do that, Sally, in Wrath of Cortex, even though all of the superpowers in Wrath of Cortex are literally the same, exact same in this game, except there's one new uh, superpower, which is tiptoeing. In my, I think that's just such a useless thing. If they introduced the super high jump from Crash uh, Entranced to the Game Boy, into Wrath of Cortex as a new power-up that would have been actually really, really beneficial. Kind of. You know, just certain boxes you can't reach and you only need that specific ability to reach. Even the double jump would not help. But, uh, yeah. Or the super slide. Super slide. That's also a very useful power-up for time trials. But yeah, just like that, our third and final medieval level, done. Fucking Harry Potter, you piece of shit. Uh, I'm kidding. I like Harry Potter. I just, I never played the PS1 game. I only read a few books. I think I only read a few books and, well, actually, I think I read one or two books of Harry Potter. And, uh, yeah. I just saw the movie, I think. I don't know how many Harry Potter movies I've seen, but yeah. Vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into. This time you've done it. <coughs> Sorry, I don't deal with Pinocchio shaped noses. Okay, that's what he is. Now you're on my time, you little skunk. Give me the crystals. It's kind of funny that Entropy was the main villain of Entranced, which I actually find really interesting. The fact that Entranced also introduce, introduced Fate Crash as one of the main characters, like he's actually involved in the story, and Cortex wasn't. 
Well, it kind of was, except he failed from intra from excess, or the huge adventure, I mean. Because basically, Entranced is a, well, it's basically a sequel to Huge Adventure. Okay, why am I talking about the fucking Game Boy games now in this boss? Okay, so our third boss... Okay, I'm supposed to go and hit him. But, uh, yeah. Three hits aren't basically that difficult, really. And if you can hear someone shouting in the background, it's my fucking brother. It's my baby brother. Don't blame him, please. <laughs> Alright, so... It's not that hard, really. Except you need to understand his patterns. Where he's going to shoot. Alright, there's that. Hello, okay. I nearly died. Please, okay. My time is up. But yours soon will be too. Your time is up, eh? What will happen if I go back? Well, there's practically nothing, so yeah. Let's just get our death tornado spin. And just peace out of here. fucking crazy in the first place you could have stayed with the fucking more brooms god damn it now you got what the fuck okay hello that was weird i might crash you bugged out there a bit buddy all right oh wow now for this game the tornado spin has slightly different visual effects mainly because it has slight stars coming out of crash and for once, you can glide. Hmm. Interesting, no? Alright, our first level. What? Wait, what? I assume that I'm trying to record a new part now. Okay, no. <laughs> In the next part, we should start with not Sphinxinator. I think it's Sphinxinator. No, wait, that has the blue gem path. That we need the blue gem for, and that what Tomb Raider is here for. So, in the next part, we should start with Tomb Raider. In the next part, we should have with Tomb Raider. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. If you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch, all the links will be in the description below. And as always, my friends, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And Droppy says hi. <laughs> and peace.